Hi guys, I'm Annabelle Knight and right now you're watching the Love Honey YouTube channel. The place where we talk about sex and sex toys so that when you shop at the Love Honey website, you know what the heck you're doing. In this week's episode, we're talking boobs and balls and how to check them. But before we do, I've just got to remind you that if you never want to miss another one of our videos, you need to click that subscribe button. It's really important that you check your boobs or your balls. No matter how you identify, who you go to bed with, or what's between your legs, you need to know what's normal for you so that if any unusual changes occur, you can seek medical attention immediately. Now, there are a few changes that you should be on the lookout for. The first one is a change to the size or shape of your breast or your balls. It's really important that you check them regularly so you know exactly what is your normal. You may also want to be aware and look out for changes to the texture of the skin. Now, you might get a rash, there might be some puckering of the skin, or it might feel really sensitive and tingly. They're all changes to look out for as well. If you have boobs, you might be looking out for discharge that isn't milky or perhaps a little bit of blood from your nipple. If you experience either of those, it's a good idea to go and get checked out. Now, the biggie and the one everyone knows about is to look for a lump. Now, lumps can be really small, a little bit larger, and different sizes, so there isn't a one-size-fits-all for the lump you're looking for. Another sign you might need to look out for is if your breast or ball is painful or tender or sensitive to the touch, or if you have any kind of loss of sensation or it feels different to usual. Another thing to look out for are lumps and bumps, and that's quite common knowledge. Now, lumps can be really small or they can be larger. They can also be different shapes. So there isn't a one size fits all when it comes to lumps. If you find one, don't panic, just go and get checked. Now, let's have a little chat about how you do the checking. I need my glamorous assistant, where is she? Now I have my glamorous assistant, I'm gonna show you how to check your balls and your boobs, starting with boobs. Now it's worth mentioning that it's not just people with a clitoris that can get breast cancer. So regardless of what's between your legs, do check your chest. Now it's worth mentioning that the breast is actually a lot bigger than most people think. It actually starts at the collarbone and goes all the way under the armpit. So when you are checking your boobs, make sure you check these two areas as well. Now firstly, use the flat palm of your hand and press all over and that will help to decipher whether or not underneath there are any lumps and bumps. Next, you want to take your fingertips and work into the breast. Now, you should be able to feel lots of different textures in there, and that's because the breast is full of glands and different types of tissue. Now, that's completely normal. This is why checking is so important, because you need to know what your breasts feel like to you, so that if there are any changes, you can spot them straight away. Now, there's no real right or wrong way to examine your own breasts but do make sure you make use of the whole of your hand. Also, use a mirror. You'll be able to see different changes in skin texture far more easily if you have a mirror and some decent light. I like to position mine in like a fitting room scenario so I get a 360 kind of look. And remember, it doesn't matter what's between your legs, always check your chest. Now onto the balls. Checking your balls is a little bit trickier because they are quite far away from your eyes and a mirror is an absolute must. Place one beneath you so you can see everything. You want to take your testicles in your hands and roll them between your fingers, making sure you take note of the different textures and any lumps and bumps that might be in there. Then take your fingertips and give them a little stretch so you can see the skin Fully. It's a really good idea to incorporate your boobs and ball checks in your everyday routine. Make it part and parcel of your life so it doesn't feel like a big scary thing that you have to do. When you get out of the shower or the bath, just have a quick check. Incorporate that into your routine and it'll soon become second nature to you. Remember, changes to your skin texture and lumps and bumps may not be anything sinister, but it's always a good idea just to book a GP appointment and get it checked to be on the safe side. So there you have it, how to check your boobs and balls. If you have any techniques of your own that you'd like to share, please pop your comments in the box below. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you never want to miss another video, hit that subscribe button. For notifications, click the bell, and if you just can't wait till next week for another video, then don't worry, because there's one coming up right now. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Annabelle Knight, 
and you've been watching the Lovely YouTube channel. Bye!